All right, greetings and salutations. So today I wanted to show you my take on my on a chicken coop. It's a double chicken coop, so I can separate some breeds or the boys from the girls. Uh, with a 18, I'm sorry, nine foot by 24 foot run, completely enclosed with uh, chicken wire over the top on some sections and uh, hard cloth on the top on this versatile section and the side walls. So I'm not done yet, I still have to uh, tie these in with some metal ties and I have to fill in the predator proof hole for this. So this kind of does two, two things. It uh, predator proof, so if something tries to dig under there, it'll be met with a little resistance and luckily I'll see it before it gets in. Uh, and also, if these guys ever decide to start digging around the corners here and the edges, they will not be able to kind of inadvertently burrow a little hole that they might scoot out of. Oh, look at that bantam. I call that one fluffy. He's so little. <laughs> and he's buff colored. He always hangs out with the buff Orphingtons. Anyways, so that's what I got going here. So now I got to pour, push the dirt in, fill them in. I'm going to raise the dirt up a little bit past this point here. And um, then also I got to zip tie this to here and tie this with uh, some metal stuff. So got a little more work to do. I'm almost done. But uh, why don't we take a look on the inside here? So like I said, it's a double. And I've got an extra little lock pin up here, just uh, for my peace of mind. But uh, perfect little door. This is the only one occupied right now. I'm gonna put the roosters in here, separate them from the girls, give them a little break. And there's everybody. They can kind of hang out in here. This is a separating chicken wire wall between the two. I've only got one water in there right now. I wanna put two per and keep uh, at most 25 birds in each one of these. And underneath here is concrete. I learned my lesson with other coops I built that uh, are very difficult to clean out. Um, so the water is, I hope, or you're likely familiar with. Underneath there are little water nipples, and they actually just peck at those and get water that way. The feeder we actually have, I'll try and get in there here. Uh, they actually stick their head in. You can see two of them doing it now, where they actually stick their head in and eat at the bottom. They create a void. The grain then fills in. Uh, the void and falls in <clears throat> and all this is is actually an elbow so it's a 90 degree pvc elbow so you go in here kind of see it i think go in here they'll eat food see there's a nice little protection for their head all the way through so they can only peck down and eat the food make a void and fill it in there's about 100 pounds of food in here should last me about a week and we'll have about a total of 10 gallons of water each one of these, so 25 birds with 50 pounds of food and 10 gallons total water should last them about the week because I actually leave them, I don't really see them every day, I don't actually live near these coops, so I made this as kind of a holding cell uh, so they can have a little area to play. Yes, hello. Little area to play, eat, live. Um, then we swing by, pick them up, and bring them to the fair. Since I can't have crowing roosters in my home in the city, so I have this little plot of land that's agriculture. That uh, is where I keep the chickens once they get to a certain age. But yeah, and then uh, it's a very, very common sort of framing. It's just a pole barn, four by fours side walls made out of the nice uh, pro rib steel just got everything from ours the concrete i poured the worst way you could which is buying little pre-mixed bags putting them in a wheelbarrow and just dumping it and doing like a little corner at a time all right so that's the back like i said two little areas separated from the corner here very nice and they're little nine foot wide by 24 foot long and I had a bunch of brush piles over here that I just burned so now I will be able to extend this run 
um, realistically, all the way out, more about double it to go to 48 feet. I could bring the run all the way out here if I wanted to house more chickens. I have to add in a roost. <laughs> there are no roosts in there. So I've got some 2x4s because they're so ungodly expensive. I've been thinking I'm probably going to use some scrap wood or something. But uh, 2x4s are going to have to be used. Give them a little roost. Uh, these guys are still juveniles, so they're not quite exhibiting the roosting behaviors yet, but they will soon, so we need to give them something so their feet don't get flat and they won't have the ability to roost in the future. That's my coop with run, and uh, now I'm going to go hop on this bad boy and push the dirt in. Here we go. Until next time, I'm the Ill-Informed Human. Goodbye.